Hi, Chris Hesselbein here. I'm really excited to be sharing an idea with you today. Uh, it's a new way to use data validation with Google Forms. Have you ever wanted to put a password on a Google Form so that if other people are filling out this data that you could give it a once over before they submit it? Because once it's submitted, it's in your spreadsheet and there's not a lot you can do with it. Uh, so if there was a way to put a password or a confirmation code on it, uh, this could avoid a lot of problems. So today we're going to use data validation to do that. The first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to show you a little bit about data validation. It's a very simple process. When you are creating questions in Google Form, you can set requirements for what the input should be. First of all, you go to edit the question, and then you click advanced settings, and you check data validation. I'm going to select number greater than five, because I'm asking my respondents to pick a number greater than five. And then I click done, and when I go to the live form, if I enter a number smaller than five, click submit, gives me an error message and does not allow the form to submit. So how does this transfer to be a confirmation code? So on this form here, I've added a special text uh, question, and I have uh, gone to advanced setting, data validation, and this time I'm going to do a text validation. So it must contain my password, so that the text contains, and my password is turtles. I need to remember to put a custom error message so that it doesn't tell them what my password is, and I need to require the question. I click done, and when we go to the live form, if someone was to try to enter in data without the correct confirmation code and click submit, it would not allow the form to submit, and it would say incorrect. So I would have a way to put a password on a form.